this is still free. I welcome you today to Big Three Science. Today, we are going to talk about human and his environment. And we will lay emphasis on personal hygiene and proper sanitation. Children, by the end of the lesson, you should be able to, one, explain the term sanitation and personal hygiene. Two, you should be able to state at least three ways of maintaining personal hygiene. Three, state three reasons we practice personal hygiene and sanitation. Now, let's discuss our keywords for today. Personal. Personal. Personal refers to yourself and no one else. Personal refers to yourself and no one else. Hygiene. Hygiene. Hygiene is a practice of cleanliness. Hygiene is a practice of cleanliness. Sanitation. Sanitation. Sanitation is the promotion of hygiene and prevention of diseases. Sanitation is the promotion of hygiene and prevention of diseases. Children, what do you do to your body before you take a new dress on at your hall when the place is dirty? Do you sit in it like that? No. We bath before we take on a new dress and also when our living room or our hall is dirty, we sweep it off. So, what are we doing when we bath our body and we sweep our living room? Yes, we are practicing personal hygiene and sanitation. Okay, children, let's go back to our keywords. What did we say personal is? Good. You said personal means yourself and no one else. Also, do you remember what we said about hygiene? Exactly. We said hygiene is the practice of cleanliness. Now that we know personal and hygiene, what then is personal hygiene? Think about it. Good. Personal hygiene is an act of keeping our bodies clean. Personal hygiene is an act of keeping our bodies clean. Good. What is sanitation? From our keywords. Sanitation is a process of keeping places clean and healthy by providing a sewage system and a clean water supply. Sanitation is a process of keeping places clean and healthy by providing a sewage system and clean water supply. How do we maintain personal hygiene? We maintain personal hygiene by brushing our teeth. Also, bathing regularly. Number three, we can also maintain personal hygiene by washing our hands with soap and running water. 
four. Keeping our hair neat at all times is also another way of maintaining personal hygiene. Five. Cutting of fingernails and toenails. When we cut off our fingernails and toenails, we are practicing personal hygiene. Let's talk about why personal hygiene is important. Why personal hygiene is important. Give me reasons why we should practice personal hygiene. Exactly. It keeps us from diseases. Also, it keeps you clean and prevent bad odor. We must practice personal hygiene so that we will not get bacteria on our skin. Showering with soap helps rinse away dead skin cells, bacteria and oils. During the day, we perform various activities which make us sweat. We need to bath well to take away all the sweat. Next reason why we should maintain personal hygiene is that we have to brush our teeth regularly. When we don't do that, germs will enter our gums, which will make your mouth swell. Let's talk about importance of personal hygiene. One, it helps prevent control diseases. It helps prevent and control diseases. Two, it keeps you clean and prevent bad odor. It keeps you clean and prevent bad odor. Three, showering with soap helps rinsing away dead skin cells, bacteria and oil. Showering with soap helps rinse away dead skin cells, bacteria and oils. Four, caring for your teeth and gums is the smart way to prevent gum disease. Five, good personal habits can also boost your self-esteem. Let's talk about the ways of keeping our environment clean. Clean gutters or drainage. Dumping refuse into dustbins. Proper sanitation helps reduce the spread of diseases like cholera and cold. Also, proper sanitation provides a serene and healthy environment for people to breathe in fresh air. It is also good to maintain proper sanitation because it ensures a conducive environment for learning. Let's summarize our lesson for today, children. What have you heard? Okay. We said in our lesson today that personal hygiene is an act of keeping our bodies clean. And personal hygiene 
We mentioned ways of keeping our bodies clean by brushing our teeth regularly, by bathing at least twice a day. Also, we talked about proper sanitation in our environment. And we said that sweeping our environment, cleaning our gutters, and putting rubbish in dustbins are ways of maintaining good proper sanitation. We also said that it is very important to maintain proper sanitation because it prevents us from getting diseases like Corilla. Also, it helps us to get fresh air to breathe. Children, practice all that we've learned today and stay safe. To meet again 